The day begins at 5 a.m. at the Hawaii Undersea Research Laboratory. As equipment and gear are loaded, everything is checked and then rechecked. Because launching a submarine by submerging it on a 50-foot barge leaves no margin for error. The first thing we do in the morning is, is go through a systems check of both the LRT and the High Seas 5 submersible. We all as a team pay close attention to detail. We make sure that everything is, is ready to go. Sometimes it's the simplest things like an O-ring or a bad regulator that can just put the brakes on everything. As the sun rises, the LRT team has all systems ready to go. They tow the LRT and the submarine out to the dive site and then transfer from the support vessel over to the barge. The LRT, the Launch Recovery and Transport Platform, is operated by three divers, one pilot and two divers that will remove and attach the submersible to the platform. Now aboard the LRT, everybody takes their positions. Once the submarine crew is inside the sub, the LRT is ready to launch. From his seat behind the control panel, the LRT pilot will choreograph the operation using only sign language. The two deck divers open the main flood valves on the deck of the LRT and the descent begins. At first, the LRT sinks slowly, but as more water pours through the deck, things become more and more chaotic. The first part of the descent is potentially the most dangerous phase of the entire operation. The submarine weighs 13 tons and sitting on top of the LRT, that makes things quite top heavy. In the first few test dives, we had tilts of 20 plus degrees that made it feel a little bit uncomfortable as to if the whole system might flip over or not. From his control panel, the LRT pilot is keeping things level and stable as they descend. In the meantime, the deck divers face their own challenges. Your first challenge is to not get rattled by the LRT leaving the surface and coming back through the interface. Uh, you have to watch out that you don't get washed off the platform. As soon as the LRT gets deep enough that the divers can manage the turbulence and chaos, they swim back into position. After getting through the interface, a calm takes over the operation, and the LRT makes a gradual descent. Underneath us, there's 3,000 feet of water before the bottom. And it's now the job of the LRT pilot to put air in and take air out of the LRT's ballast tanks and become neutrally buoyant at a depth of 60 feet. While the LRT was submerging, the pilot of the sub was going through his, his pre-dive checks, making sure that all his systems, he doesn't have any system grounds, everything's running, his lights all work, everything's up and going. Once you've gained a hover, the pilot of the LRT will give the submersible pilot a handsome, asking him if, if everything's okay. The submersible pilot gives a signal back. At this stage, the LRT pilot will tell the deck divers to break the chains. It's critical at this point that all systems are working perfectly. As soon as these chains hit the deck, the submarine is free. The next sign the LRT pilot will give is the up sign, which means that the submersible pilot now gives one blast of soft ballast air, which makes the sub rise up from the platform. Once it's about one foot beyond the baseline of the platform, the LRT pilot will give him the sign to back off, which the pilot then will do. He is then at that point, he is busy. He won't be able to return any signs. He'll just acknowledge that he has understood what the LRT pilot told him by doing so, and the submersible will then act accordingly and back off and eventually sink behind the after section of the LRT. 
successfully launched from the LRT, the Pisces 5 will now descend to a depth of 3,000 feet where it will explore for the next eight hours. <laughs>